a taken from the Associated Board Grade 5 Theory Practice Paper 2020 and they're in the new multiple choice format. To be able to answer these questions, you'll need to have a good knowledge and understanding of key signatures, the different types of clef and of intervals. In the first question, we are given a written bar of music for the clarinet in A. The bar has been transposed down a minor third to be at concert pitch, but there are some mistakes. You're asked to put a tick or a cross underneath the key signature and each note to show whether each is correct or incorrect. Let's start with the key signature. There are two sharps, which means that this could be in either D major or its relative minor, B minor. Now, it doesn't really matter which of those it is, because the correct transpose key, key signature down a minor third from D major would be the same as down a minor third from B minor. So, it's probably easier just to think of it as D major, and we need to work out a minor third below the note D. There are two aspects to intervals, the numerical value, which is some, simply the number of letter names from one note to the other, and then there's the quality of the interval. So we'll count down three letter names from D. Remember to incl include D itself. So D, C, B, one, two, three notes down. Now, we don't know at this point, though, whether it's B or B flat. So this is where the quality of the interval, the fact that it's a minor third, comes in. A good way to find a minor third is to remember that it adds up to three semitones. So count down three semitones from D. C sharp is one semitone, C natural is two, and B is three. So the correct key signature should be B major, which is five sharps. The transpose version here has only four sharps, so this answer is incorrect, so we need to put a cross there. Now we need to look at each of the notes. First of all, just check that each of those notes has gone down three letter names. So the D has gone down to B. D, C, B. So the numerical value is correct. B flat down to G. B, A, G, the numerical value is correct. A down to F, A, G, F, again the numerical value is correct. E down to C, E, D, C. So once again, the numerical value of all those transpose notes is correct. Now we need to check though whether they are minor thirds. So once again, we're going to count down in semitones. So the first note, D, down a semitone C sharp, another semitone C, another semitone B. So the first note is correct. The second note, B flat down to G. Count down three semitones. Down one semitone A, two semitones A flat, three semitones G, and again the answer is correct. Let's look at the third note, A. Count down three semitones. A flat is one semitone. G is two semitones. G flat is three semitones. F is four semitones. So although this is a third, this is a major third, and therefore the answer is wrong. The last note, E, down to C sharp. Let's count down the semitones. One semitone E flat, two D, three C sharp. So the answer is correct. In the second question, we're asked to compare bars A, B and C and then circle true or false for each of the three statements. We've got a bar of music in A which is in the treble clef. 
B, which is in the bass clef, and C, which is in the also clef. Statement A says that A and B are the same pitch. So let's look at the first note in A. It is the E flat just above middle C. B is in the B flat uh, is in the bass clef and the E flat the first note is the E flat in the octave below middle C. So this statement is false. Statement B B is one octave lower than C. B starts with E flat in the octave below middle C. Remember, B is in the bass clef. Now let's look at C. C is in the alto clef. If you're not familiar with the alto clef, the main thing to remember is that the note middle C is written on the middle line. So the first note E flat is the E flat just above middle C. And in B the E flat is the in the is the E flat in the octave below middle C. So statement B is correct. So a circle true. In statement C, C is one octave higher than A. Now we've just looked at C and worked out that the E flat shown there is the one just above middle C. The E flat in A is also the one just above middle C. So this statement is false. And there we are.